what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i want to talk about this faction rallies event and how in my opinion is pretty disappointing now the good points the armor and the ornaments and the grind to get them the bad points everything else okay so the armor for the most part look great the grind for the ornaments is also something i really enjoyed doing this is what i expect from such a game like destiny when it comes to grinding for gear so this part I really enjoyed, my hunter is now rocking that full new monarchy gear. So what's disappointing? Well it's the fact of how this hotfix which came with faction rallies has seemingly made worse the experience and brought the game even more so than it already is. One step forward and five steps backwards. Typical Bungie. So if you haven't heard, with these faction rallies, players who supposedly owned the Kessel Osiris DLC should have had new weapons obtainable via each faction. But what's happened is, because they've programmed faction rallies to be available to everybody, those who have the DLC and those who don't, it somehow bugged the game into not allowing people who actually own the DLC to get any of the new faction rally weapons to drop. To be honest, when you think about it, what they have done here kind of makes sense when you think about how they would resolve an issue of allowing everyone to play. They just take away everything new weapon-wise from everybody. That's the easy escape, and to be honest, that's the fastest escape in doing all this. And it's actually pretty disappointing to think them thinking this is acceptable is pretty shocking. We know typical Bungie always takes the quick routes in fixing things. This I believe is just another instance. I mean I understand it would take work for there to be two different loot pools available. One for those with the DLC and one for those who don't have the DLC. But is it really that hard to do? I actually believe this, what we've got here, was their intentions. And no doubt they will come out and state, we apologise about the loot drop issues and we are working on a fix for the next Faction Rallies event, yet knowing full well that this was going to happen. The best part is, if nobody said anything about these missing weapons, I guarantee the next Faction Rally event will be exactly the same BS. It is kind of annoying, it's like they enjoy the backlash, I just don't get it. Hopefully though they prove me wrong, I seriously hope they do and they drop a hotfix to fix this hotfix over the coming days, and maybe extend Faction Rallies for a few more days. But can you guys seriously see that happening? Um, uh, Nope. Okay, so moving on, and as you may have noticed, you can't farm Lost Sector chests for Faction Rally tokens anymore. Now, I know this all came about because of the winding call of Lost Sector on the EDZ, where you could farm over 500 tokens per hour last Faction Rally's event. What's happened now is there's a cooldown on Lost Sector chests. If you open more than two in 10 minutes, they will be empty. You have a 10 minute cooldown. So you can literally only farm two chests from Lost Sectors every 10 minutes. What kind of fuckery fix is this? I mean, I understand people farming this Lost Sector takes away from the actual point of the Faction Rallies event and makes it a little too easy. I get the need to fix that. Then fix that Lost Sector alone. Don't break every other Lost Sector in the game. Don't make them even more useless than what they are already. There are multiple ways to fix this issue. Simply make it so one faction token drops from a Lost Sector chest. That way you'd have to farm three Lost Sector chests to equate. Why lock people out of them? It just doesn't make sense. Lost Sectors suck at the best of times. Making them completely useless doesn't add up to me. And for those thinking, no it isn't because now I can't farm tokens. That wouldn't make sense coming from a player who has all faction gears and weapons. I have no reason to farm tokens. I just think this was another easy option they have taken in thinking they are fixing the issue when it only makes things worse. I still don't believe they actually know what we enjoy when it comes to playing Destiny. I honestly think they forgot. The last time Faction Rallies was here, I actually came back onto playing the game after taking ages off just to farm Lost Sector Chests. Yes, it's a bit cheap when you think about it, but it was fun. It was something I enjoyed doing, being rewarded for grinding. That's what I like to do, even if it's running backwards and forwards for a few hours. Now I know people will be thinking, farming Lost Sector Chests is boring and it takes away from the enjoyment of doing them normally. Point is here, there's no fun in doing them normally. But it's actually come to the stage now, with Bungie breaking them, you can't do them normally even if you wanted to. There's no option there. It's a lose, lose, lose situation for the player who likes to farm a certain activity. Taking away exactly what us as Destiny players enjoy doing. The point is, most people have come to enjoy easy reward for fast grind. That's exactly what Lost Sectors offered. Yes, public events, strikes and crucible, 
also offer you faction tokens, but they involve you being in a team and an activity in which you have to complete a set activity which takes a certain time to do. Although faction tokens drop here in decent amounts, they take away that simple experience you get and enjoy by doing them solo at your own pace, finishing whenever you want, plus there's no real stress involved. So with this in mind, faction rallies this time around is a little bit of a disappointing experience for me as a whole. And it ties in with the rest of the game, one big pile of mess. Now the coming months do look good and let's hope their incentive for delivering is better going forward and when it comes to future hotfixes, patches and updates. But on that note guys, I am out. Let me know what your experience has been like so far with the Faction Rally event. Also just to quickly clear something up, I don't enjoy making videos complaining about Destiny, but you guys can be certain. If there's one voice in the whole of Destiny community that will call out Bungie on the BS Day pool, it will be me. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.